Section 1 Introduction We're here to discuss the recent advancements in the field of natural language processing, NLP, particularly focusing on large language models, LLMs, and their innovative prompting strategies. One such strategy that has gained significant attention is the chain of thought, caught, prompting technique. This method, which mirrors the way humans reason sequentially, has proven to be highly effective in solving multi-step problems across various domains and languages. Interestingly, researchers have found that even if the reasoning steps are not entirely correct, as long as they are logically consistent, they can still enhance the problem-solving performance of these models. This discovery led to the development of complexity-based prompting, which has set new standards in terms of accuracy. However, despite these promising results, there's still a lot we don't understand about how and why COT and its variations work so effectively. This lack of understanding means that improving the performance of COT is still largely a process of trial and error. We believe there's a significant opportunity here to gain a deeper understanding of how COT works, which could lead to more reliable and efficient applications of this technique in various complex NLP tasks. In our research, we're trying to figure out if the reasoning steps are the most critical component of the prompts that make COT work. We've conducted experiments where we've controlled for other variables and focused on the reasoning steps. We've found that there's a strong correlation between the length of the reasoning chain and the capabilities of LLMs, up to a certain point. Surprisingly, even when we introduced misleading information into the reasoning chain, the performance still improved. This suggests that the length of the reasoning chain is more important than its accuracy. Our key findings include, 1. For few shot caught, there's a direct linear correlation between the number of reasoning steps and accuracy. This suggests that increasing the number of reasoning steps in prompts can significantly enhance the reasoning abilities of LLMs across multiple datasets. 2. Even incorrect reasoning steps can lead to positive results, as long as they maintain the required length of inference. This is particularly true for tasks that are process-oriented, such as mathematical problems. 3. The benefits of increasing the number of reasoning steps depend on the complexity of the task. Simpler tasks require fewer steps, while more complex tasks benefit significantly from longer inference sequences. 4. Increasing the number of reasoning steps in zero-shot cot can also significantly improve the accuracy of LLMs. We've confirmed this by modifying the initial prompt to instruct the model to think in more steps. In the next section, we'll discuss some of the previous work that's relevant to our research. The rise of large language models has been made possible by recent advancements in computational power. These models have shown impressive capabilities, such as in-context learning and caught reasoning. In-context learning involves incorporating input-output examples directly into the prompt, which allows large language models to perform well without the need for task-specific fine-tuning. However, this method often struggles with complex reasoning challenges. To address this, researchers have developed cot prompting, which involves integrating a series of logical reasoning steps into the model demonstrations. This not only improves the model's understanding of complex questions and their underlying logic but also provides a clear sequence of reasoning steps. Further advancements in this field include the AutoCOT method, which automates the cot process, and the Tree of Thoughts taught, framework which allows language models to consider multiple reasoning paths when solving problems. Section Summary The introduction discusses the effectiveness of the chain of thought, caught, prompting technique in multi-step problem solving and its potential for improving reasoning performance in NLP tasks. The authors aim to explore the importance of reasoning steps in caught and conduct experiments to investigate the correlation between step count and accuracy. They find that increasing the length of reasoning steps improves the reasoning abilities of language models, even if the rationales are incorrect, and that the benefits of longer inference sequences are task-dependent. Additionally, they introduce the concept of AutoCOT and the Tree of Thoughts framework as advancements in AI reasoning. Section 2.2 Preliminary Work on Analyzing COT Our team has been studying the evolution of chain of thought, COT, reasoning in artificial intelligence. This field has seen significant advancements over time, thanks to the contributions of various researchers. For instance, Madan and Yazdanbash initially explored how breaking down prompts into symbols, patterns, and texts could affect COT through counterfactual prompting. This research laid the foundation for understanding how different parts of a prompt influence AI reasoning. Other researchers, like Tang and his team, delved into the role of semantics in COT reasoning. 
they discovered that semantic knowledge from pre-training is crucial and that symbolic reasoning presents challenges. Around the same time, Wang and his team studied the effect of demonstration selection in COT. They found that the relevance and order of reasoning are more important than the accuracy of reasoning chains. Recently, theoretical perspectives have emerged, offering deeper insights into the mechanics of COT. For example, Lee and his team conceptualized COT as a multi-step combinatorial function, highlighting its role in simplifying and context learning for complex questions. Fung and his team theoretically demonstrated that a fixed size transformer is sufficient for computational tasks and dynamic planning within COT frameworks. Other notable contributions include those of Merrill and Sabarwal, who found that COT can enhance reasoning abilities, with improvements scaling with the number of intermediate steps. Wu and his team used gradient based feature attribution methods to assess the robustness of COT against question variations and perturbations. In our research, we aim to examine the relationship between the reasoning steps and the performance of COT prompting. We hypothesize that the reasoning steps are the most critical component of COT prompts, enabling language models to apply more logical reasoning when generating responses. To test this, we design experiments that expand and compress the rationale reasoning steps within COT demonstrations, while keeping all other factors constant. We evaluate both zero-shot and few-shot COT prompts. Zero-shot COT is a template-based zero-shot prompt for chain-of-thought reasoning. The core idea is to add phrases like, let's think step-by-step, step, or other similar text. Few-shot COT, on the other hand, provides more examples in the prompt for chain-of-thought reasoning. Among them, manual COT and auto COT are two popular methods. In the zero-shot scenario, we modified the initial prompt from, let's think step-by-step, step, to, let's think step-by-step, step, you must think more steps. This change guides the language learning model to engage in more extensive thinking, enhancing the model's accuracy without the need for incremental training or additional example-driven adjustments typical in few-shot caught scenarios. In the few-shot scenario, we aim to modify the reasoning chains within caught rationales, either by adding or compressing reasoning steps. The goal is to examine how changes in reasoning structure influence language learning model decision-making. We plan to investigate strategies to expand the reasoning steps for different language learning model applications, inspired by zero-shot COT and AutoCOT. We propose five general prompt strategies. Think about the word, read the question again, repeat state, self-verification, and make equation. These strategies aim to simulate the process of human thinking and reshape the chain of thought. We found corresponding patterns in the model's responses for all our prompt strategies. In the next section, we will perform a quantitative analysis to validate the effectiveness of our strategies. Section Summary In the preliminary work on analyzing chain of thought, cot, reasoning and AI, researchers explored the decomposition of prompts and the role of semantics and demonstration selection in cot reasoning. Theoretical perspectives also emerged, offering insights into the mechanics of cot. In this section, the authors propose an analysis to examine the relationship between reasoning steps and COT prompting performance, conducting experiments to expand and compress reasoning steps within COT demonstrations. They also introduce different prompt strategies, such as thinking about the word, repeating the question, summarizing the current state, self-verification, and making equations, to simulate the process of human thinking and reshape the chain of thought in COT. Section 4 Experimental Results In this section, we'll be discussing the results of our experiments. We conducted these experiments to answer five key research questions. 1. How do the steps of rational reasoning in demonstrations relate to the performance of chain of thought, caught? 2. Can we confirm that the reasoning steps are the only factor that affects the performance of large language models, LLMs? 3. Does compressing reasoning steps in few-shot demonstrations negatively impact LLM performance? 4. Is there a scaling phenomenon, meaning, do the required reasoning steps relate to the size of the LLMs? 5. How do the questions in the rationale influence the reasoning ability of the LLMs? We'll be discussing each of these questions in the following sections. First, let's talk about our experimental setup. We tested our method on eight different datasets using three models, Text DaVinci 002, GPT 3.5 Turbo 1106, and GPT 4. We accessed all models using the OpenAI API key. We followed the process pipeline we proposed earlier and compared our methods with four baseline methods. 
We used accuracy as our evaluation metric, which is the ratio of correct answers to total answers. We added reasoning steps using GPT-4 to modify the zero-shot caught prompt demo. We also conducted an experiment where we compressed the reasoning steps in the few-shot caught. Lastly, we cleaned the answers following the structure proposed by zero-shot caught. Now, let's discuss the relationship between the number of reasoning steps and accuracy. We found that the reasoning ability of large language models improves with the addition of up to six steps of additional thought processes. In other words, there's a linear relationship between accuracy and cot complexity. Next, we wanted to see if reasoning steps are the only factor that affects LLM performance. We did this by introducing an error in one step of the prompt to see if it disrupts the chain of thought. We found that for arithmetic type questions, even if there's an error in one of the results of the prompt, the effect on the chain of thought in the reasoning process is minimal. However, for logic problems, an error in one of the prompt's results often disrupts the entire chain of thought. In the following sections, we'll continue to discuss the results of our experiments in relation to our research questions. Section Summary In the Experimental Results section, we address several research questions. We investigate the relationship between rational reasoning steps in demonstrations and the performance of the COT model. We also examine whether reasoning steps are the sole factor affecting the performance of the LLM model. Additionally, we explore the impact of compressing reasoning steps in few-shot demonstrations on LLM performance. Furthermore, we observe the scaling phenomenon by analyzing the relationship between the required reasoning steps and the size of the LLMs. Finally, we analyze the influence of questions in rationale on the LLM's reasoning ability. We evaluate our proposed method on eight datasets using three models and compare it with four baseline methods. We use accuracy as the evaluation metric and conduct various experiments to answer the research questions. Section 4.4 Compressing Reasoning Steps In the previous sections, we've shown that adding more steps to the reasoning process can enhance the accuracy of large language models, LLMs. Now, we're going to explore whether reducing these steps in a few-shot demonstration will negatively impact the performance of the LLM. To do this, we conducted an experiment where we compressed the reasoning steps in examples from both the automated chain of thought, autocot, and the few-shot chain of thought, few-shot cot. Our goal was to decrease the number of inference steps. The results showed a significant drop in performance, similar to the level achieved by the zero-shot method. This suggests that adding more steps to the chain of thought reasoning can improve its performance, and reducing them can have the opposite effect. Next, we wanted to find out if the number of reasoning steps needed is related to the size of the LLMs. We looked at the average number of inference steps used in different models, including Text Da Vinci 002, GPT 3.5 Turbo 1106, and GPT 4. We ran tests on the GSM-8K dataset to calculate the average number of steps each model needed to reach its best performance. This dataset showed the biggest performance difference with the three models. We found that our strategy had the most significant impact on the model with the worst initial performance, Text Da Vinci 002. On the other hand, the model with the best initial performance, GPT-4, was the most tolerant to our strategy, showing no decrease in performance. Lastly, we wanted to understand how the questions in the chain of thought examples affect the reasoning ability of the LLM. We were curious to see if changing the reasoning in the chain of thought would impact its performance. To ensure that the question itself didn't affect the performance, we chose two datasets and two chain of thought methods, AutoCOT and FewShotCOT, for this investigation, multi arth and GSM-8K in GPT-3.5 Turbo 1106. We made deliberate changes to sample questions within these mathematical datasets. Interestingly, our initial observations showed that these changes had minimal impact on performance. This suggests that the length of the steps involved in the reasoning process, rather than the nature of the questions themselves, primarily influences the reasoning capabilities of large-scale models.